Dairy farming in Ireland is big business. We've over 1 million dairy cattle producing 5,600 million litres of milk a year. 80% of the industry is export focused and is worth 8 billion euro a year. To get the best value from the dairy herd, farmers need to be able to predict which heifers will be the best milk producers. And that process begins, believe it or not, with the heifer's father. John O'Sullivan is a dairy farmer and chairman of the Irish Cattle Breeders Federation. So in the past, how could you tell which cows were going to be good producers? We had to make uh, an educated guess based on what we knew about the mother, what we knew about the sire. We selected the best bulls that were available to us in AI, mated them to uh, all of our cows, and obviously the ones that would, have, would come from the best cows, they were the ones that we assumed would be the best producers. So how long would that whole process take? That whole process would take from the time that the sire of the calves is born to the time that we would be milking the daughters of that sire and uh, evaluating the performance of them. That would be a five-year process. Scientific advances in... Ooh! Scientific advances in genetics are helping to fast-track the breeding process. This is the next generation of Ireland's dairy herd, and these little fellas are helping to develop the technology for dairy cattle selection. Researchers at Chogusk are using genetics to help reduce the time involved and to offer more efficient information to dairy breeders. So how does this little fella help the process? Uh, we take a sample, uh, we take a hair sample, not a blood sample, and we take from the tail. Yeah. We go from the base of the tail and we pull the hair up like that. And basically you'll see the, the hair there and the follicles in it. And basically you have to get 14, 60 hair follicles and you place them in this card. Place them back in the card like that. Yeah. In like that. That's it? That's your, ex that's your sample? That's your sample. And off to the lab? Off to the lab. And that'll right give us lots of information about how this fella's going to do when he grows up. Exactly. Great. So can I be part of the scientific process? You can, of course. I just need to pull a load of hairs yep. out of this poor fella's head. I'm sorry, I don't mean to hurt you. That's it. I think there's 40 follicles in there. Yeah, yep. looks good. All right. And you place it into the card like that. Close it up, seal it up, put it in an envelope and send it off for testing. Very good. And then we'll know what happens to him when he grows up. That's it. Great, thank you. Here at Chagask in Fermoy, Donna Berry leads the genomics programme. So I've met the calves, I've taken my hair sample, what happens now? So what actually happens is you send this hair sample to a laboratory and the laboratory take the DNA from the hair sample. So inside in all of our follicles there's DNA and they extract that and they send it then to a laboratory. And what the laboratory does is it, it determines what's the DNA profile or the DNA signature for that particular animal. That DNA signature goes to a genetic evaluation body. In Ireland, it's called the Irish Cattle Breeding Federation. And they compare the DNA profile of that individual animal to what we have determined is the optimal DNA profile for Ireland. And based on that, you can then tell the farmer how good this animal is going to be three to five years hence. The DNA sample will not only offer information on the male calf itself, but also crucially on how his daughters are likely to perform in a dairy herd. And what kind of traits are you looking for? Oh, there's a plethora of traits. There's up to around 50 traits people are looking at. So the most economically important traits for dairy production systems in Ireland is milk, fat and protein, but also things like fertility, survival, whether the cow is going to have a difficult calving or not, and also the physical characteristics of an animal. Is it big or is it small? Is it wide or is it narrow? So what was your breakthrough here in Chagas? How did you make this system accessible? So what we did was we developed the algorithms and the pipelines to actually bring down the number of genetic markers you had to look at from around 54,000 down to around 3,000. And obviously that's going to result in a reduction in cost. So now we're down to around 29 euros. Donna is able to combine the scores for individual traits and to produce a single figure or economic breeding index, which tells the farmer the expected profit from the milk yield and other key indicators. Ireland was the first country in Europe and the second country in the world to introduce this technology. 
So basically, you're still breeding the best to get the best. You just have a little bit more information to hand when making those decisions. Exactly. It's all about increasing the accuracy by which we can identify the best animals. We've been doing it before using different processes. This is just a new, simple process of just following that DNA. It's amazing that five years of painstaking and expensive recording can be distilled down to something as simple and as easy as this. So as a farmer, do you like to keep an eye on what scientists like Donna are doing? I wouldn't use the word like, I would use the word have to keep an eye on what scientists like Donna are doing. And all dairy farmers do. We are very fortunate to have uh, people like Donna working in organisations uh, such as Chagask, who do an awful lot of research work uh, into this area for us and do it in collaboration with the Irish Cattle Breeding Federation, who do all of the computations. And both of these organisations have some very brilliant people working in them for our benefit. And uh, we are very fortunate that we do have them and they will make a huge uh, contribution to Irish dairy farming and indeed beef farming going forward.